We've all imagined stumbling upon treasures of unimaginable value, but while it seems like just a fantastic daydream, it turns out there are some very real lost fortunes lurking out there for some lucky soul to rediscover. Here's a look at some very real hidden treasures still waiting to be found. Forest Fen's Treasure In 2010, art collector Forrest Fenn allegedly buried a chest containing millions of dollars worth of treasure and then published a 24-line poem containing clues to the location. So far, Fenn estimates over 65,000 people have tried and failed to find the treasure, which is somewhere in the Rocky Mountains. After three people lost their lives trying to find it, though, the police issued a warning telling people to stay away. With the treasure still undiscovered, Fenn occasionally surfaces to give out more hints. The treasure is not in a graveyard. You call that a clue? Lost at sea. Perhaps the greatest source of lost treasure is shipwrecks. Over the centuries, numerous vessels have sunk with billions of dollars worth of gold, silver, and other valuables. For example, the legendary pirate Captain Kidd supposedly sunk his treasure ship, the Adventure, off the coast of Madagascar sometime before 1701. But so far, despite claims to the contrary, nobody has actually found it. The same is true of the San Miguel, the flagship of a Spanish fleet laden with loot from the New World that went down in a hurricane in 1750. And then there's the SS Islander, which sank in 1901 carrying an estimated $265 million worth of gold. The ship has been found, but so far, most of the gold is still missing. Perhaps the most famous fortune lost at sea, though, belongs to the Atocha, which sank in 1622. In 1985, most of the ship was located, boasting a treasure worth hundreds of millions of dollars. However, part of the ship that housed the captain's quarters, where most of the valuable artifacts are presumed to have been stored, has never been found meaning the Atocha may still have even more booty to give up if it can only be located. The Amber Room Once known as the eighth wonder of the world, the Amber Room of St. Petersburg's Catherine Palace was an entire room made of amber. During World War II, though, the Nazis dismantled it, packed it into 27 crates, and sent it somewhere. So far, nobody knows exactly what happened to it, though one panel from the room actually surfaced in Germany in 1997 and was used to help create a full-scale reproduction. But was the rest of the original room destroyed during the war? Or is it still out there somewhere waiting to be found? Only time will tell. The Irish Crown Jewels Back in 1907, the Irish Crown Jewels were kept inside a safe in the library of the Bedford Tower of Dublin Castle. And then one day, they weren't. On the morning of July 6th, it was discovered that the keys to the library were missing, and after an investigation, it turned out the Crown Jewels had vanished as well. The fact that there was no sign of forced entry pointed to an inside job, with most people suspecting Francis Shackleton, second in command to the officer of arms. However, after completing a prison sentence for bank fraud, he went missing too and was never seen again. Coincidence? King John's crown jewels. England's King John just can't catch a break. He's immortalized as the king that gave away the power of the monarchy when he signed the Magna Carta, and he's the bad guy in every Robin Hood movie ever made. He also managed to lose not just the country's crown jewels, but a massive amount of treasure too. Exactly what happened is a mystery, but sometime around 1216, it seems King John and his retinue were transporting a treasure that included the crown jewels when they were caught in a flooded swamp near Long Sutton. The crown jewels and the rest of the treasure was swept away to a watery grave, and despite over eight centuries of searching, nobody has managed to find them yet. Treasure of John Dillinger during the early 1930s, the American Midwest was gripped by the terror of public enemy number one. And your name? John. John Dillinger. <laughs> All right, everybody, hold it right where you are. This is a robbery. Three weeks prior to his death, Dillinger and his gang of bank robbers were nearly caught by the FBI near the Bohemia Roadhouse outside of Mercer, Wisconsin. According to a legend published in a sensational 1950s adventure book, just before the chapter on the G-string buccaneer, there's buried treasure in those hills. Escaping through the woods after a shootout, Dillinger stopped and supposedly buried a suitcase containing $200,000. He got plastic surgery and planned to retrieve the money and flee to South America, but he was gunned down before he could pull off his big escape. Presumably, it's still out there somewhere waiting to be dug up. Maybe. Thanks for watching. Click the grunge icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.